It's a real short video on scrapers and how to sharpen them. Um, there's times where you have like maybe one of these types of scra scrapers that take a razor blade to it. Um, and, and you might get into a situation where you're scraping and your razor blade breaks. And so you need a scraper with a little more rigidity to it. Yeah, this one, it's got some miles on it. Um, but it's dull as can be. I mean, nothing. So, But I'm going to show you how to sharpen this thing up. And all you need is a flat surface. This is a granite surface plate. But you can also use a mirror, like on a, a bathroom mirror or just a small mirror is all you need. And uh, you need some 1200 grit sandpaper or finer if you want. And water. And all you got to do is spray it all down. Now I'm going to spray my, my, my surface plate down to get the paper to stick to it. And after that, you want to hold your blade kind of at a decent angle, something where it's barely touching the edge because you're going to hone all this edge off of there and you're going to make this thing extremely sharp. And all you do is this. It's just keeping that perfect angle while moving the scraper. So the edge is getting there, but now I gotta cut the back side of this down a little. And the idea is you want to hold it at that correct angle from the surface plate up. That way you can constantly keep that. She's starting to cut the paper. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely starting to cut the paper. And so it's getting there because it's starting to cut the paper. Next sheet of paper. Let's go back to getting the edge cut on this thing. Now, as you can see, that edge is starting to come back alive. So, a little bit more. And I turned it back over to where this side is now cutting against it. I'm rotating it to get an even cut on each side down. And what it does is when you sharpen something, the edges of it become like this little serrated edge. But it's so microfine that you can't see it. Well, when you rub it one way, the edge tends to roll to one side. And so when you flip it on each stroke, it keeps those in line. That way it makes that edge nice and sharp. So that's why I'm flipping it. Okay, now I'm gonna check it to see if it got any sharper. And how I do this, if you do straight razors, then you know this is called a hanging hair test, but we're not gonna pluck a hair to try to cut it with it. We just wanna get it sharp, that's it, so. As you can see, yeah, it's sharp, <laughs> really sharp. I'm actually kind of nervous because I won't cut myself with it. So, if you need a razor blade that's really sharp and you keep breaking the one that you're using because you need something more rigid, you can take a normal straight scraper and just hone an edge on it and get it razor sharp. So, they call these a five in one, by the way, because you can do like clean rollers with them, open cans, scrape, uh, and there's like two other things or three other things you can do with them. So, yeah, it's razor sharp. I'm starting to think I should put some shaving cream on. <laughs> yeah, it's sharp. So, just a simple way to uh, sharpen your uh, scraper when you need something that's a little more rigid.